So let's open up the CSS grid repeat function ones that we have here, and let's do a quick little grid where we have four columns. So how I would normally do that is something like grid template columns, one FR four times. And that gives us, oh, I forgot one, four. There we go. That gives us four columns, each 20 pixels spaced apart. Now, what I could do instead of that is instead of writing one FR four times, I just type the repeat function and the repeat function takes two things. First, how many times you want to repeat it four, and what you would like to repeat one FR. And that gives us the exact same thing. What's neat about this is you can actually pass it something like two FR, and this is going to give us eight columns. Uh, and that's going to alternate between one FR, two FR, one FR, two FR, right? Because you have, it just takes whatever you have right here and multiplies it by four. So you could also maybe throw like an auto in here and that will just auto size the columns based on their content. You can also just mix and match it with uh, values that you pass in here. So maybe I want to start with 100 pixels and end it with 200 pixels. And then inside of it, I just want to repeat this one FR twice and then auto twice. You'll see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns being added. And of course, you can add more repeats on here as well. Maybe I want to end it off with a repeat of five FR and that will give us all kinds of columns. So the repeat function can really just be used anywhere uh, inside of your grid template columns or grid template rows uh, to just cut down on the amount of typing that we need to do.